Hey, what's up guys? Los here for Gas and Gears Garage. Thanks for joining me. Today we're taking on the project of replacing the original alternator on this Corvette C4. The reason? The old one's shot. It's just done for. And I've run a couple of diagnostics and I know it's not working anymore. What I'm doing now is I'm taking the opportunity to do an upgrade to this, uh, this alternator switch out. I'm going from the original, which is, was putting out about 100 amps or so, to 140. I'm using this Bosch remanufactured alternator. The reason is I'm saving uh, some money on it. Second thing is I'm gonna return the original one, the core, so there's a core deposit on it. The third is it's carrying a warranty with it. So it's pretty much a win-win. Great, uh, great alternator putting out the amps. It also gives me the amps that I need in case I wanna do some modifications. I don't outgrow the amp, uh, the amperage as well when I'm doing some of the, some of the tweaking to the engine and and some of the performance, uh, some of the performance upgrades I'm thinking about doing. So we're gonna get started on this. I'm gonna show you, believe it or not, it's one of the easier of the replacement parts, but it does require us removing the serpentine belt. I show you that in another video. So I'm just gonna assume that you've already removed the serpentine belt from this, um, from the engine already. And we're gonna get started on this right away. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are. We're in the process now of removing or replacing the alternator on this Corvette C4. One of the things you're gonna notice, if you look carefully, is that the pulley wheel is actually been taken off. Okay, I took off this pulley wheel to the air pump. The reason being is it because it's gonna give me access to remove the alternator support or bracket arm on here. Okay, the way I remove this is I used a 10 millimeter uh, socket for this hex, and it's three of them and it comes off of there, okay? It's gonna give me a lot better clearance and it's gonna make my life a lot easier to remove this. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is we're looking at two varying uh, hex bolt sizes. These up here are using a 13 millimeter, okay? This one down here is using a 15. And likewise for down here and another one down here, okay? So we're talking about a 13 here as well. This is the only one that's using a 15, okay? and another one down here, which also uses, okay, the 13 size, okay. We're talking in total of one, two, three, four, five, and six on this other side. There's one down here towards the alternator that actually, I'll show you right now, and it comes off. Now what I did do was I did pre, sort of loosen these up to show you Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this right now. And you're gonna wanna use as well a 15 millimeter open wrench to get this one out first. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start basically unscrewing these bolts on here. Okay, once you get it loose, you can go ahead and start taking this loose. If you notice, what ended up happening in my case here was that this thing is so old and it's, it's basically been so weathered that the actual bracket support piece down here just kind of crumbled, just kind of broke. So I am gonna be replacing this as well, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and move on and remove the remaining ones up here, okay? So we're talking about the 13 millimeter that are up here, okay? I'm gonna switch this out right now and we're gonna get to removing these, okay? And I wanna show you right here why taking out the pulley wheel is the only way to go. This is threaded in up here, okay, into this bracket, and you'll see how long it is. Right here, having the pulley wheel is just not gonna work, okay? You just, you can't get the screw out and you're not gonna get it, be able to get it back in, all right? Notice right here, you've almost got about an inch in total. So you wanna make sure that this one comes comes off. The only other tricky one is going to be the one down here in the alternator. It's, it's it, There's a support one here. I suggest using a one and a half inch extension to get to this, okay? But you are gonna have to remove the support bracket here that actually goes to the header. That is, is another alternator support bracket. So this one is gonna have to come off because you are gonna have to turn it as well as the other hex that's at the bottom. You're gonna have to use an open wrench for that as well. First things first though, 
uh, prior to working on any of this, you want to make sure you disconnect the negative battery cable on the car. Okay, this here, uh, we're going to remove this uh, this plug in here, as well as the the power the power down here first. Okay, and that comes off fairly easy, right? And we've got that removed, and we're going to start making way for removing these. So let's go ahead and start basically unscrewing all of these so we can get to replacing them. Okay, so here we are basically at the process of removing the last bolt that's holding this alternator in place. And I'm just gonna go ahead and support a little bit of the weight here. You see how this is kind of swiveling here and I leave the last one here because it's much easier to remove. And I'm gonna kind of just hold this up here so that the weight doesn't hold down the bolt that I need to remove. And this will slide out. See the length of this, this is running across at the bottom and all I have to do at this point now is basically just pull it out. And we've got the alternator here out. Look at this thing, this thing is gone. It's shot. And so it's a good thing we're removing this. We're gonna go ahead and remove it. And now we're gonna go ahead and place the new one in. All right, so now that you're seeing this all come together, it's looking absolutely fantastic. We're gonna have a brand new alternator um, in just a matter of minutes. And one of the things I want you to notice is I replaced the, the alternator bracket. And if you'll notice, one of the things about this is that it's black. It doesn't come in black. This is part of just customizing the look of the car. And I decided to just have it painted um, a black to kind of match the valve covers that I'm putting on and doing this whole black and sort of gray theme here in the engine bay. So feel free to customize as you go along. I mean, that's part of the beauty of doing your own work is that you can pretty much do whatever you want, right? So I'm just gonna finish up here. I'm gonna finish uh, connecting the power sources and the cables, and then I'm gonna uh, put back the serpentine, uh, the serpentine belt that I originally took off, and we're gonna get up and running. So thanks for joining me, and don't forget to like the channel and subscribe. See you soon.